Uh, come on, let's go. Say bye to Mummy. See ya. I want to be ya. Lucas, just hang on a sec. I was only joking. I realised I never asked you what happened with Eve. I would just be on Miles Morales. So you just playing Spider-Man? Yeah, doing a web. I didn't mean to push her. OK, so you're just playing and someone got a knock. Right. Happens all the time. Pretty much what I said to Aaron. OK. See you after school. Bye. Yeah, get yourselves in the car, I'll catch you up. Look, well, Dawn, Aaron can't accept that things just happen. It's all about him being provoked or hurt and someone's got to pay. It's pathetic. Yes, agreed, but do you think he's going to change? I doubt it. So we better stay away from him. Look, I'm not just going to pussyfoot around someone just because... Billy. What? What are you going to do? Leave him alone. <laughs> Is the right answer. See you later. Please make sure she gets on in one piece. <laughs> it's a baby shower in Hotton, not a hen doing Magaluf. You think she's going to be doing top shelfers? No. Have fun. You ready for the salon? I'll get my purse. Yeah. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here now. <laughs> she has no clue. You got everything? I don't have anything. What if I'd been carrying Reuben when it happened? But you weren't. Right? And what if it happens again? Well, then I'll be there for you next time, just like I was this time. Yeah? Yeah. Besides, the doctor said it's probably nothing to do with your other thing. You can call it a brain injury. And that you're absolutely fine to go. But if you don't feel like that, well, we can do what you want. I want to go home. Yeah? And I want to be with you. And Reuben. Well, that sounds like a plan. OK, tuna and sweet corn, yoghurt, fruit, biscuity thing and a drink. Can I stop having tuna? Yeah, I suppose. Why? Because it's bad for dolphins. That's well, worse for tuna. Come on, let's go. Sorry, I was going to sort those out. That's all right. It's not like it's my first time. Oh, just thought... You always think... Have you? About... Oh, I've done very little else in the night. I certainly didn't sleep. No. And? Well, I had a little look online and... Well, there's women stealing sperm, <laughs> ex-husbands destroying embryos and ex-wives denying ex-husbands, but nothing like this. Even if there was, I'm not sure it would make it any easier. How are you today? Less rested than you. <laughs> well, me having energy means you taking it easy. Tell me what you need me to do for you. Tell me what to do. At least let me do the pack-up lunches. Already done. Yeah, I just had to keep busy. Maybe sure I should take her out. Yeah, that's the one kind of busy I've cried off, actually. Or rather, I got my mother to do it for me, like a child. Like an adult, in emotional turmoil. Yeah. I just, you know, couldn't face... Guess the weight, taste test the baby food. Of course, I'm sorry. No, nothing to be sorry for. This is just how I picture my man cave. Can you pass me some tape? Oh, tape leaves a mark. Yes. Well, so does a head butt. Dawn's on the way and we're not ready, so just pass it to will you? You should be all right. Kim will feel too guilty about being abroad and missing it to tell you off. Oh, well, that is what I'm banking on. Nice to see you in a party mood. What, because I'm usually miserable? No, just, you know, your mum not being here. Well, that's the story of half my life, isn't it? Well, you're okay? Yeah, must just be my year for people letting me down. Are you going far? Oh, let me rephrase that. No, you're not, because I need you for the photos and you. Although we're not good enough for the main event, are we? I'd rather walk the streets. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of this for Dawn? That's Dawn's bare stone. One for Clemmy, one for Lucas and me, and there is space for the baby when it arrives. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Yes, yeah, perfect. <laughs> You're big soft. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That one. Yeah, you're right! Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're going to be a great dad. I'm going to try and be. Ivan, how are you? This is where you tell me how you are. Or where I tell you my name's Ethan. Yeah, well, that works too. What can I get you? Get me a calendar and I'll show you how long I've lived here for. 
<laughs> so, with the bill she didn't pay and the money owed to Diane, that's the extra we need to find. Well, that's got to put a big dent in the monthly finances. We need to find that every week. Well, forget a dent. That's got to completely write them off. Yeah, we all have to tighten our belts. Our belts are already tight. Although not as tight as the one I'd like to put around your sister's neck and... Paul and I say hi. I just got a text from Bernice. She's landed safely in Portugal. What a huge relief. Have I done the right thing? You've done the decent thing. Hi. Hiya. Ethan. Yes. Um, so you know that thing where, because you're a solicitor, people come up to you and ask you for free advice and it's really annoying? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think I'm about to do that. 